friendly hen. Dedicated to the billions of hens sacrificed each year for our consumption. One day, I went to the meat department of Ralph's supermarket and looked at frozen chickens in plastic bags. I picked out a nice one and named it Blinky. Here is a close-up view of Blinky. Next, I drove to the Los Angeles Pet Cemetery to bury Blinky. Here is a photograph of the cemetery office. I ordered the complete funeral service, including a powdery blue casket with pink satin lining, a lot, interment, flower vase, viewing room, and grave marker. Here is Blinky in the viewing room. By this time, Blinky was starting to thaw, so she was placed on a paper towel so that moisture would not seep into the satin. A pillow was placed where Blinky's head would have been. A subtle spotlight was shining on Blinky, and beads of moisture glistened in the light. A scenic view of the cemetery grounds. The grave site with artificial grass over the dirt. The casket and flower vase at graveside. Blinky's casket lowered into the grave. Map of Los Angeles Pet Cemetery and location of Blinky's gravesite. Here is Blinky's granite grave marker. You are welcome to visit Blinky and the peaceful cemetery grounds seven days a week during daylight hours. Gentlemen, on April 27, 1978, my client, Mr. Jeffrey Valens, purchased an interment privilege for his pet hen, Blinky, in lot number N1-2491, block G7, unit number 2, in the Los Angeles SPCA Pet Memorial Park. Mr. Valens would now like to exhume the body of Blinky for the purpose of conducting avian necropsy, autopsy, and lab tests to attempt to resolve certain questions which have arisen concerning the circumstances of his pet's death. Mr. Valence is prepared to pay for all fees and charges involved in Blicky's disinterment and subsequent reinterment. In order to conduct the test, it will be necessary for Mr. Valence to remove his pet's body for a period of several days, after which time the remains would be returned for reburial. Mr. Valence wishes to be present at the cemetery both for groundbreaking at the time of exhumation and at the reburial ceremony.
An autopsy is performed on the exhumed remains, uh, alleged to be a chicken, which arrives for examination in a uh, small uh, casket measuring about two and a half feet in length and uh, one and a half by one foot in outside dimensions. On opening the casket, uh, one perceives uh, actually uh, a collection of bones in the casket and no soft tissue. These are removed from the casket. And there's obviously the breast bone of a fowl, uh, consistent with the origin from a chicken, at least one large thigh bone and perhaps two uh, smaller leg bones, some other bones, several of which are broken, flat bone probably from the breast and several wing bones. Uh, these are all the remains of the uh, alleged chicken. No soft tissue is here. Uh, several of the bones are in more or less advanced state of decay. The cause of death cannot be determined. It may have been traumatic due to the fact that several bones appear uh, fractured. A specimen will be taken and sent out for uh, histopathologic evaluation. Thank you. 